Hey, good morning, everyone, and we are going to keep moving forward on our plan and prep week. And today we're going to dive into the most critical component of the plan and prep week, and that is meal planning. I absolutely know that this is not everyone's favorite part of the program. There, this requires work. This requires time. But guys, 80% of your results are going to stem from what you put into your body. What are you eating? When are you eating it? Are they proper portions? And you just, you can't out train a bad diet. And the 21 day fix is the most simplified nutrition plan I have ever run across. There are no excuses for you not having success on this eating plan. So I don't have the physical containers with me, but I'm going to walk you through the meal plan through Beachbody On Demand. So I'm back in here. I'm going to share my screen with you guys in a minute. And, and just know that you can ignore me. You can say, I don't like to meal plan. I don't like to grocery shop. I don't like to cook. I'm going to work out. I'm just going to do my own thing and we'll see what happens. And I'm sitting here telling you that for the first six months, I did not truly engage in this meal plan. I didn't get behind the meal plan. I didn't practice the 21 day fix. Just didn't do it. And it wasn't until I started applying the containers and portioning it that my results amplified. I mean, yeah, I lost a little bit of weight and I dabbled here and there, but I was killing myself in cardio. And I really had this mentality that I was eating healthy because I wasn't eating fried food or I wasn't eating a lot of sugar. Or, but the, at the end of the day, you've got to know your portions and you've got to make sure that you're getting the vital nutrients that you need. So I had really shorted myself for months and then when I finally put all of the tools together and I finally applied the nutrition plan, everything changed for me. And I had a rapid drop in weight. So don't do what I did. Please, I'm asking you, trust me. Let me walk you through this today so you can see how simple it is. So long as you don't overcomplicate it. It's very simple. The work has been done for you. We just have to plug in some numbers and find out your calorie plan. So before we can get started the first thing everybody has to do is find their calorie count so let me share my screen with you guys okay i'm back into beach body on demand which is exactly what we talked about earlier this week in plan and prep so the first thing you're going to do is go to your program so you guys know that i'm doing the shift shop but i am just I'm going to click on the 21 day fix eating plan because that is the basis of all of it. I'm going to go to the program materials and I'm going to pull up the eating plan. Oh, it's already pulled up. Okay. So we're going to scroll down until we see the eating plan. So we're going to click on that and it is going to download and open all of the, oops, sorry. My, uh, my laptop rings and my phone rings. Isn't that funny? Okay, here we go. Back over here. So the 21 day fix is right here. And those are the containers. Um, they're displayed in the photo right there. I will walk you through. The purple is your fruits. The green is your vegetables. The red is your protein. The yellow is your carbs. The blue is your healthy fats. And the uh, orange are your seeds and dressings. And at first, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to starve. But I'm telling you, these containers are going to hold more food than you really thought they could. And when you see a container, you don't think it's a lot, but when you put it on a plate, you see how much food it is. So let me scroll down. And the very first thing we're going to do is figure out our counts. And one second. So the, here it is right here. So the very first thing you have to do is find your, your calorie plan. What is your calorie plan going to be? You have to do the numbers, um, enter in your weight, multiply it times 11 to get your baseline. And then you're gonna add 400 
to uh, that baseline. And then, sorry, got stuff everywhere here, um, to get your maintenance calories. Now, if you're not trying to lose weight, you're just trying to maintain your current weight, that is going to be your plan. Then you're gonna take that number and subtract 750 if you're trying to lose weight. So I was on a weight loss journey. I'm still on a weight loss journey. So my number, I always do the minus 750. But if you're just trying to maintain your current weight and maybe eat healthier, then you would not subtract the 750. So my plan is plan A. Originally, I started at plan B, but now I'm at plan A. So for this video, I'm just going to walk you through what my plan looks like. But I did start with plan B and through my weight loss and through my body changes, I was able to drop my calorie plan. So then you're going to scroll down and see the 21 day fix container plans. So you see plan A through plan D. So based on those calculations, it's going to tell you which plan to follow. So for this video, I'm going to do plan A. So this tells me that I get per day, I need to consume three vegetables, three green containers, two purples, four proteins, reds, two yellows, one blue, one orange, and two oils and, you know, like the peanut butters and almond butters and such. Um, and those are teaspoons. That's what that spoon represents. It's not a tablespoon as much as we want it to be when we're making our Shakeology. It's a teaspoon. Um, so that will give me approximately 1,200 to 1,499 calories. It's a rough estimate because this is a flexible eating plan. You're not obsessing over the calorie counts. So um, if your number comes in for less than 1,200, and I have had challengers do this, you need to round up to 1,200. You absolutely cannot go beneath 1,200 calories a day and maintain an energy and the, the healthy lifestyle that is going you know, to, to be required of you. Anything lower than 1,200 calories is going to be damaging. Okay. Consistently, it would be damaging. So the very next thing are the tally sheets. I'm going to upload these tally sheets in the file section of this group so that you guys can print them off because you are going to have to track your food. And we'll get into that in a minute, but you have no idea what you're eating and what you're consuming if you're not tracking. And I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how confident you are. You'll remember. I promise you, you won't. So, and then hydration is huge. So you need to print off the tally sheets. I'll upload these. I'll upload a black and white version so you don't have to deal with the color ink on a printer because sometimes that's a pain in the butt and it gets real dark. But I will upload a black and white copy for you guys to print out, keeping your purse, keeping your wallet, so that whenever you are eating, you just whip it out, mark down your, your tallies, and put it up. So you can honestly assess your nutrition at the end of the day. So we're gonna keep going through here. Okay, those are just some before and afters. These are just some samples, but what I wanna walk you through is um, how to make your meal plan. Those are simple, helpful ideas for you. But in the beginning, in the beginning, I want you to, I'm gonna stop here for a second. I want you to use your containers to measure everything out. Every meal, Every snack, I need you to use those containers so that you can measure it out so you know you're eating the proper portions. If you're not measuring out the containers, you are guessing, and, and that is not what you need to be doing when we are on a mission to drop weight or to get healthy. So what I like to do is I have it right here. I have just a blank sheet of paper right here, and I am going to walk you through what my meal plans look like in the beginning because I am all about simplicity. I am not trying to complicate things. So I know, do y'all remember my, my, my plan is uh, three green, let me go back up, make sure I get it correct. Um, I'm on plan A, so I'm needing three greens. I am needing, I know I need four proteins, there we go. I need three greens, I need two fruits, I need four proteins, two carbs, one fat, healthy fat, one dressing, and two of the oils and butters. 
like not butters, but like peanut butter, almond butter. So what I do is I just jot that down at the top on the top of my sheet of paper so that I can easily reference it as I'm making my meal plan. Guys, I am telling you, in the beginning, it's going to be hard. Do not overcomplicate it and stick to the foods on the food list. On the food list, you're going to notice they're in an order. That order is important. The higher up the food is at the top of the list, the more nutritional value it provides. It's better for you. So the top veggie is going to be, provide more nutrients to you than the bottom of the vegetable list. So these are the veggies. So I'm going to tell you right now, the very first step I ever do is I look at my week. I write, I write on my paper. I write Sunday, um, Monday. Actually, I don't. I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday across the top. And then I do uh, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And so it's like a, I do it like this. I do like across the top and then at the bottom. And then I start jotting it down. Now, nowadays I type it up, but in the beginning I did it this way so I could scratch out and really see it. Um, so my three greens, I can tell you right now, I have Shakeology for lunch every day because I have an afternoon lull and I get really tired. So I add in the focused energy and by doing that, I'm giving myself a boost of energy in the afternoon from a natural source and the Shakeology just helps me feel great the rest of the day. So this is my shake every day. It's the shake. It's half of a frozen banana. It's a handful of spinach. It is um, one teaspoon of peanut butter and then I add shredded coconut flakes on top. That's my shake. So what does that consist of container wise? Well, that's one red, that from the, the Shakeology itself is a protein. The green is the spinach. The purple half of a banana is a purple. Um, my peanut butter is a spoon. And my, um, and I actually use real peanut butter. I don't use the PB2 and I don't use almond butter. I use real, no salt added peanut butter from Trader Joe's. And then the toasted coconut is an orange. So, that's my shake every day. So that's a red, a green, a purple, a spoon, and an orange. So all of those containers create one meal for me. So I make that meal every day. So I write that meal down with those containers across my board for lunch every day. So then I take a look at breakfast and I'm thinking, okay, what does my morning look like? It's crazy, but since I freezer cook, I'm going to just use my egg cups, right? So basically, in the beginning, I would cook eggs. So two eggs is a, like two full eggs. Here, let me go back down here. So for the proteins, and you're going to need to familiarize yourself with what constitutes what in a container. So for eggs, two large eggs is one red, right? So you're gonna have to familiarize yourself with the container counts to know like what is what. So you're gonna have to reference this. I would highly suggest taking a screenshot of each of these food lists for your program and either keep it, in, keep it in your phone for easy reference or printing them out for easy reference. But you will memorize them in time. But in the beginning, I carried my 21 day fix, fix book around with me everywhere to where the pages were falling out. So breakfast for me, and I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to do the same thing all week. I am going to do um, two eggs. So that's one red, right? And then I'm going to do, uh, I need a vegetable. So I'm going to take, I always like to look at the top. I love asparagus. So I'm going to add a container count of asparagus, but I'm going to dice it up. And asparagus are 10 large spears. That's a lot of asparagus, and I'm not going to eat 10 spears in a sitting. So I'm going to do five. So that's half a green. But I'm going to also add tomatoes. And I'm going to, so I'll have half of a container worth of asparagus and another half of container green of tomatoes. So that makes one full green. So that's going to be, you know, eggs, 
with some grilled veggies. And then um, that's probably all I'm gonna have for breakfast in the morning. So that's gonna be a red and a green, right? Every single day. So now I'm gonna go to dinner and I keep it very simple, guys. I know I need a vegetable and a protein. So I'm gonna start with my protein and I, I will eat different stuff for dinner so my kids and my, my uh, family doesn't get bored, but I keep it very simple. So I'm gonna find a source of protein. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do one day here for an example, but I'm gonna do salmon. So that's a, um, a red. And then I still need a couple of greens because I need four in the, three in a day. So I'm gonna have my last vegetable with dinner. And so I'm gonna go back up to the greens and I'm gonna see, okay, what veggies sound good for me with salmon? Well, I, I'm not a huge uh, broccoli fan, but I love Brussels sprouts. So I am going to grill some or bake some Brussels sprouts. And I'm gonna follow it right here where it says, um, Brussels sprouts, five medium. See that right there? Five medium constitutes one serving of vegetables. So that tells you that that's some very nutrient dense vegetable if you only need five of them because they're small. So that's my green, so I'm gonna have salmon, I'm gonna have my Brussels sprouts. Then I'm going to need my what else am I missing? So I need three greens, so I've hit that for the day. I need, oh, I need some healthy fats. So let me scroll down to the healthy fat container. Trying to get there, you know what, a carb. I'm gonna need a carb also. So for this, I'm gonna have the sweet potato. That's my favorite carbohydrate. It's what I eat all the time. So I'm gonna add a sweet potato to that meal to give me my yellow container. So, so, so far, let me just look at my day. I've got three reds so far. I've got three greens so far. I've got one purple. I've got one spoon. I've got one orange and I have one yellow. So I need so I've hit my vegetables for the day, right? So I can mark that off. I need to add some more fat, healthy fat. So let me look and see. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some avocado to my breakfast because I love avocado. So, but do you see here that a quarter medium mashed, you know, a quarter, like a fourth, of an avocado is one serving of a healthy fat. So you, you can't eat the whole avocado. You, and guacamole is not the same thing. So just fresh sliced avocado, I'll add that to my breakfast and that's gonna take care of my, um, my healthy fat for the, for the day. So I'm trying to mark that down, okay. So I got my healthy fats taken care of. I'm gonna need two fruits. Well, I like to have fruit for my snacks, so I'm gonna actually go up to my morning snack, and for fruits, I'm gonna look at the list and see what fruits are at the top that I could add to my plan. So raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, those are gonna be your powerful uh, nutrient dense stuff, so berries. So I'm actually just gonna do a mixed berry bowl and I'm gonna fill up a purple container of some raspberries, some blueberries, and some blackberries because I love berries. So I'm gonna get my fruit in my morning snack and with my banana in my shape, that's my fruit for the day. So I'm gonna mark that off. Now let's go back to the proteins. I've gotten a protein at breakfast, a protein at lunch, a protein at dinner. So I need another protein. Well, I am going to have that protein for my afternoon snack, and I'm gonna go back and look and see what is a good protein. Just past it. And I'll tell you right now, I always do tuna right there, so I don't do one that's always at the top. 
some of my go-to snacks are boiled eggs, but I'm having them at breakfast, so I don't want to get egged out, if you will. Um, and I love getting yogurt, so sometimes I'll do berries with yogurt in a morning snack and get my protein there. But lately, I'm finding that when I hit car line and I have the Trader Joe's no salt added tuna from the can, I will um, you know, drain it like it says here, and I will mix it in a small like little plastic container with a little bit of mustard, some salt and pepper, just mix it up real good. And then um, I will eat that tuna like out of the container. And that is my, my, that's my fourth source of protein for the day. And that tuna is light, but it's filling. And if you don't like tuna, then you can easily look through this list, get some rolled up turkey, get some cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. Um, get some egg, boiled eggs, some Greek yogurt. You guys just go through this list and find something you can eat for a snack to get your fourth protein in. So now I've got my proteins, but I need another carb because the only carb I have right now is the sweet potato at dinner. So let me go look and see what they have listed on the yellow container that I can round out my day with. What meal could use a good so here, right off the bat, this is what I'm gonna do. You see that edamame right there? Trader Joe's and most grocery stores sell in the frozen section, shelled edamame that is ready to eat. You just heat it up and go. So I will get my yellow container out. I will measure out my frozen edamame. I will microwave it or cook it, however it says. And I'm gonna add that to my tuna. So I'll have tuna with edamame. And that's going to give me my second carb of the day. So let me mark that off. And I'm trying to see dressing, dressings and seeds. So where can I add a dressing or a seed? So let me go down to the orange container. And actually, I have that container taken care of, I think, with my coconut in my shake. Yeah, right there. See that unshredded sweetened coconut? Oh, yeah. See, that's, I already wrote it down in my lunch. So that's taken care of. Coconut, the shredded unsweetened coconut on top of your shake is delicious, and it meets your container count. And then the oils and butter. Well, I know for a fact I'm going to cook my eggs in some, in some oil. And I know for a fact that I've got my peanut butter in my shake. So I've already met that container. And that's it. That's my full day. So that gives me every container. And I only cooked off of here. I didn't get fancy with recipes. I didn't make it complicated. I made my meal plan from this list. And in doing that, I ensured that my portions are in check and that I met every category. So let me just go through my, my meals again. So breakfast is two eggs, just scrambled, with half a green of asparagus and half a green of tomatoes. And then I'm going to add a quarter of a sliced avocado, and that is my breakfast. My snack is a bowl of fresh berries. That's a purple. My lunch is my Shakeology. So I have my chocolate Shakeology scoop. I have my big handful of spinach. I've got my half of my frozen banana. I've got um, a peanut butter spoon of peanut butter, and I have I blend all that together with ice and water, and then I top it with an orange container of shredded coconut. That's my lunch. So then for my afternoon snack, I'm gonna get my can of no salt added tuna, put it in a bowl, add some mustard, some pepper, and then I'm gonna add a yellow container of edamame in that bowl, mix it up, and have like a tuna edamame salad. And then my dinner is a, a piece of salmon, which is a red container. I'm going to have a um, five Brussels sprouts that are baked. And I'll probably add a little bit of balsamic vinegar to that. So I might reduce my coconut just a little bit to compensate for that balsamic. And then, because I love balsamic on Brussels sprouts. So that's my green. And then I'll have it with a sweet potato. And that's my yellow so if you can see that's my full meal I did it all off of these lists and all my containers are met so I have confidence that I did what I was supposed to do 
for my meal that day. And that is how I cooked for the first two months. I did not get creative. I had very simple meals, but they were delicious. And there was so much variety because these lists offer so many foods. And like I mentioned yesterday, please do not, do not eat anything that's not listed on the list. Please don't. Um, you guys, I'm gonna let y'all go through here and educate yourself on the beverages. And you can see when you're drinking, I would ask you to stick to water and coffee. I mean, honestly, when you're getting into like the almond milk and all that, it just gets complicated. So pay attention and read through the beverages. Ask me your questions. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory though. Um, you can have a four ounce pour of wine and that's a yellow container. So at dinner, if I wanted wine with dinner instead of my sweet potato, then I would just take the sweet potato off and my yellow container would come from my wine. So you can have wine on, on the fix. And then here are some good exchanges for, you know, some treats, if you will. So go through that. And then this is your free food. So water, different ways to enhance your water. Um, this is a great way to get a variety of water into your body. So, and then you have a bunch of free, free foods. So cinnamon. So a lot of times in my coffee, when I started drinking it black, I would sprinkle cinnamon on top and that makes a huge difference in your flavor. And right now, you know, pumpkin spice is everywhere. So add a little bit of pumpkin spice in there. Just stay away from those creams. Stay away from that half and half. Stay away from that non-dairy creamer. I don't care if it's silk, uh, coconut creamer, almond milk creamer, just it's not going to be good for you right now. So for 30 days, see if you can get away from those habits and start finding new ways to enjoy your coffee that are not killing and destroying your results. So you can see here that mustard is a free food. You can have as much as you want of it. So you can go through here and see all the stuff that you can add to your food that will not add containers. So that's pretty much the eating plan. Your job today is going to be to get started on them. Your job is going to be to find your calorie count. It's going to be, let me switch this out of here real quick. Stop sharing. Okay, your job is going to be to find out what is your calorie count. You need to make your meal plan. You need to sit down, figure out where you have to start, and get ready to eat this stuff next week. So you're not going to see a lot of limitations. And if you like to work from recipes, then check out that Fixate recipes, Fixate cooking show, I'm sorry, and then the recipes under the blog tab in Beachbody On Demand, and you're going to see tons of recipes that already have container counts in them, so you're not having to guess. But take the time and plan. I know you're not gonna wanna do it. I know that it could be frustrating for you, but I want you to take the time to do it today. So plan out your breakfast, your snack, lunch, snack, and dinner according to the food list with containers. So you're getting what you need to get. And when you find out that you're at a calorie count and you, you're at plan B or possibly plan C, I would ask you to please stay with that calorie count. I know that we are trained to think, oh no, I need to eat fewer calories. But guys, you've got to feed what your body needs to get your metabolism you know, re reju like recharge to get that thing burning again. You've got to eat according to what your body is telling you to eat. So follow the quiz, figure out your plan and stick to it. In 30 days, we'll look at your new numbers and your plan will probably have dropped. Mine did. So trust the process, please, 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 please. Um, don't go, don't go off the beaten path. Don't get crazy in your cooking. You're starting something new. Keep it simple. Your family will be fine. There's so many ways you can make turkey tacos for dinner and have ground turkey as your protein. You can have um, two corn tortillas as your yellow. You know, you can add some fresh pico. That's a purple because that's a fruit. So you can get some simple meals that taste good and still fall in your containers. You just have to look up and see what food is because the purple container is a bit tricky. Tomato sauce and pico de gallo are a fruit. 
they are not a vegetable on the 21 day fix. So that's just going to take some time getting used to. And I will help you. Like if I see you eating something, I will make sure that your calories, I'm sorry, your containers are accurately assigned, you know, so your tomato sauce went to fruit, not to the vegetable. Um, so I talked about going into the recipes. Okay. And the reason this is like really important is, you know, last night I went out to dinner and I had fish tacos and my plate came with two fish tacos. That was two corn tortillas, a bunch of stuff on top. And then it came with, you know, rice and beans. And I used to think that's a pretty healthy dinner. Nothing was fried. I didn't have, I got my sauce on the side. This is pretty good. I had a glass of lemon water, but guys, if you really break down that meal, I had two corn tortillas. So that's, two yellow containers i had beans and i had which is a yellow container and i had rice that's four yellows that's four carbs that i'm putting in my body right before i'm going to bed and that as healthy as it seemed it wasn't portioned properly and i got too many carbohydrates for what my body needs in order to lose weight so this portion container system will give you the ability to see what a carbohydrate really looks like. What does a protein really look like? And you're going to start shifting in your mind what to eat to not overeat and indulge in the carbohydrates or in the proteins or in the fruits because you know, you're know you limited to two carbs and two fruits. So you need to stay in your counts to get your maximum results. So that's your homework. I need you to Get into Beachbody On Demand, pull up your program. If your program does not have an eating plan based on the containers, take a default and follow the 21 day fix eating plan. Just, I know several of you have said that Shailene Extreme and the UV2 does not, and you're right, it's totally different. So just shift over to the 21 day fix. That will work for every program. So just do that and uh, get in there bust out your uh, meal plan, start working on it. And when you're done with it, take a screenshot of it and post it in the group. I will look at it. I will give you some feedback. I will help you along the way. Ask me questions if you don't know what something counts as. Um, I'm also going to upload very simple meal plans to get you started, to give you ideas. So you might not want to eat mine in its entirety, but you might take my snacks or you might take my shake recipe and that'll help you kickstart your meal planning. So that's your homework. Get busy, guys, and I will look for your meal plans in the group today. Y'all have a good one, and I will see you next time with more Plan and Prep. Bye, guys.